Hello, Bobcats and all the other OCPS teachers out there. Brad Schreffler here. Today we're going to be talking about how to actually use the swivel device in your classroom. At this point, I'm going to assume your iPad is set up and with all the software it needs and that you're ready to go on either BBB or Teams. The beginning part of this video is the same, and then it will switch into either the BBB version or the Teams version of how to actually run your conference. So I'm going to assume you've already put this black piece in place right here, so we're going to go ahead and start with that in mind. We're going to take out this little guy, and we're going to put it on the clip for it. So we're going to put it right here. and then we'll put that on. We're not gonna mess with that for a little bit, but we'll put it on our neck, so it's gonna dangle right there. I would recommend, if you're gonna use the tripod, I would put this on the tripod first. Um, once you try to get the iPad onto this thing, it's gonna be really hard to get the swivel rotated and onto the mount. So the easiest thing to do, you'll see that the bottom, there's a little screw hole. Screw goes right there. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this guy spin it around, spin it around, spin it around, and it'll lock into place on there for us. All right, so now we need to get the actual iPad on here. So once this mount is on, we go ahead and put the iPad onto the device right there, and then this black clip, I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit more for you. There we go. This black clip right here get stretched and put on the top of the iPad case. This will make sure that this isn't going to move or have any issues with it. So we'll see it clipped right there on the top of the iPad case. So far so good. Then we're also going to go ahead and have to plug this cable in. This short little cable, it's got the lightning adapter on one side, USB-C on the other. So the part that we want to look at is on the back. We're going to turn that around. This piece that's angled will go on the back, and then this piece will go into the iPad right here. Plug that into the iPad right there. Once it's connected, we'll go ahead and hold the power button down to turn this on, and then do the same thing on this device right here. Hold the power button down to turn this on. Give that just a second. It's figuring itself out. All right, now at this point, depending on whether you're going to BBB or to Microsoft Teams, might be a little bit different. So if you're watching the BBB video, that will follow next. If you're watching the Teams video, that will follow next. So now when we turn on the iPad, we're going to see a prompt that'll pull up that's going to look a little something like this. And we're going to go ahead and click allow on that prompt which will automatically open up the Swivel app, and we're going to click Sign Up with Google. On this page, you'll either need to log into your Google account by putting your email address and password, or if you've already logged in, then just clicking Sign In. Go through the prompts, and then click Open to go back to the Swivel app. Since we're using BBB, we're not really going to have to worry about the Swivel app so much, so it's mostly just here to be able to see it, and if you go to using Teams later, you'll have it set up. But we can go ahead and close that app by hitting the Home button and go back to the Home screen. Now we're going to open up Safari in the bottom left corner, and we're going to go to launch.ocps.net. It's also a good idea to go ahead and bookmark this, so hit the share button and hit add bookmark. We can go ahead and bookmark it here and save it as launch, that way we can get back to it easier next time. And then we're going to go ahead and log in with our typical ID number and our regular password. Then click sign in. And once it's loaded, then we'll go ahead and jump into Canvas. And at this point, we're really just going to go into our conference in Canvas as we normally would on our computer. So we'll go ahead and head into our actual course. We'll go to Conferences. And then click Join. And if we don't have one created, we'll go ahead and create one. 
Here, it's up to you whether you want to go ahead and add the audio in or not. I would recommend probably still using the microphone on your audio enhancement in your room with your desktop computer still connected, but it's up to you. You can either click microphone or not. It will only use the microphone on the iPad, not the one attached to the tracker that you'll be wearing around your neck. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the camera button to be able to turn on our webcam. We're going to allow, and we're set and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and hit start sharing, and we'll be set. And again, that camera is going to follow that tracker now that it's on the swivel and connected to the iPad. So you'll notice as you watch this video, it's actually moving around and following me as I move. So once it gets a hold of where the tracker is, then it follows it all around. And that's all there is to it. You now have your swivel set up and using it for your BBB. So you can put that in the middle of the room and it should do a fairly good job of tracking you as you're walking around the room helping students. Hope this helped you guys out, gave you an idea of how you might use this for yourselves. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. I'll be glad to help you guys out there. And I know you're going to do awesome things for and with your students this year.